This concept, as perplexing as it may sound, represents the one-way direction or asymmetry of time. It's the reason why we perceive time to only tick forward, never backward. Think about this for a moment. We age, we grow, we evolve. All of these processes occur in one direction, from the past to the present and on to the future. We remember yesterday, but not tomorrow. We can't unscramble an egg, nor can we unspill a cup of coffee. It's a one-way ticket with no returns or layovers. This is the arrow of time, a seemingly simple concept that's been puzzling scholars and scientists for centuries. But why? Why would something so fundamental to our existence be such a mystery? Well, it's because of a strange paradox that exists within the laws of physics. You see, most laws governing the physical universe are time symmetric. What this means is that they work the same way regardless of whether time moves forward or backward. If you were to watch a video of a planet orbiting a star in reverse, it would still adhere to Newton's laws of motion. It's like a dance that's just as graceful, whether it's performed forwards or backwards, yet here we are, living in a world where time stubbornly refuses to dance in any direction but forward. It's a conundrum that has left some of the greatest minds in history scratching their heads. The mystery of the arrow of time is like a tantalizing puzzle, a riddle wrapped in an enigma, hidden within the fabric of the universe. It's a question that draws us into the realm of the unknown, the unexplored, the unexplained. So, if physics doesn't dictate a preferred direction of time, why do we perceive it to only move forward? This, my friends, is where our journey into the mystery of the arrow of time begins. So buckle up and prepare for a ride into the unknown. The clock is ticking, and as always, it's ticking forward. One possible explanation to this mystery lies in the concept of entropy. Entropy, a term you might have heard in your high school science class, is a fundamental concept in the realm of physics. In layman's terms, it's the measure of disorder or randomness in a system. Picture a neatly stacked deck of cards. When shuffled, they become disordered, and that's entropy in action. Now, the second law of thermodynamics states that the total entropy of an isolated system can never decrease over time. It can only remain constant in ideal cases where the system is in a steady state or undergoing a reversible process. But in reality, these ideal cases are quite rare, and we generally find entropy increasing, leading to a progression from order to disorder. Now, you might be wondering, how does this relate to the arrow of time? Well, let's ponder this. We perceive time as moving forward because we see events unfolding from order to disorder. The ice cube in your lemonade melts. Your coffee cools down. The stars in the sky burn out, all examples of entropy increasing. We don't witness the opposite, do we? We don't see a melted ice cube reforming itself or a cooled coffee heating up spontaneously. That's because these events would mean a decrease in entropy, contradicting the second law of thermodynamics. So here's the connection. Our perception of time's direction, the so-called arrow of time, could be a result of observing this increasing entropy. Time moves forward because entropy increases. It's like a cosmic rule we're all playing by, whether we realize it or not. However, while entropy offers a plausible explanation, it doesn't fully solve the mystery. Remember, it's just one possible explanation and it has its limitations. For instance, it doesn't explain why the universe was in a low entropy state to begin with. So, the quest for understanding the arrow of time continues with entropy as a significant yet incomplete piece of this cosmic puzzle. Could our consciousness play a role in this one-way perception of time? Now, that's a thought-provoking question. Let's dive into it. There's a theory circulating in the realms of science suggesting that our perception of time's arrow, its unidirectional flow from past to future, could be intricately tied to our consciousness. Intriguing, isn't it? The premise is simple yet profound. We perceive the past as fixed because we remember it. Our memories serve as an anchor, a confirmation of events that have transpired, a solidified history that cannot be altered. This creates a sense of the past being a concrete reality, a certainty that is immovable and unchangeable. On the other hand, the future for us is a realm of the unknown. It is uncertain because we don't know it yet. It's a vast expanse of possibilities, probabilities, and potentialities. We can make predictions, we can plan, but until those moments transpire, the future remains a mystery, an uncertainty.
The interplay of these two aspects, the fixed past and the uncertain future, creates this perception of a one-way flow of time, from the known to the unknown, from the past to the future. But it's essential to remind ourselves that these are just theories. They are ideas that have been proposed, conjectures that have been made, in attempts to explain one of the most enigmatic aspects of our existence. The arrow of time, like all scientific theories, they need to be examined, tested, and scrutinized. And that's what science is all about, isn't it? The pursuit of knowledge, the quest for understanding, the journey to unravel the mysteries of our universe. So while our consciousness may play a role in our perception of time's arrow, it's also possible that there are other factors, other influences, other realities at play. Time is a complex concept, and the arrow of time even more so. Despite these theories, the true nature of time's arrow remains elusive. And that's what makes it one of the most fascinating unsolved mysteries of our universe. The arrow of time is just one of many unsolved mysteries in the universe. In our quest to understand the cosmos, we've stumbled upon more questions than we've found answers. Every discovery seems to pull back the curtain on a new enigma. Take dark matter, for example, a substance so elusive that we've only been able to infer its existence from the gravitational effects it exerts on observable matter. Dark matter, which is believed to make up roughly 80% of the universe's matter, has remained largely undetectable. We know it's there, but we can't see it, touch it, or directly measure it. It's like trying to catch a ghost. Then, there's dark energy, an even greater conundrum. It's the mysterious force that's driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. It's as if the universe is running away from itself, and we don't know why. Dark energy is estimated to account for around 70% of the total energy in the universe. That's a significant chunk of the cosmos that we don't understand. And let's not forget about black holes, those cosmic vacuum cleaners that swallow everything that comes too close, even light. We know they exist, we've even managed to photograph one, but we're still scratching our heads when it comes to understanding the physics that govern within their event horizons, then there's the question of other dimensions. String theory, a contender for the theory of everything, suggests there may be up to 10 dimensions, but we've no way to prove or disprove this yet. These mysteries and countless others remind us of our humble place in the grand cosmic scheme. We're still infants in our understanding of the universe and each discovery is a baby step towards maturity. In the grand scheme of things, the mystery of the arrow of time is but a single piece in the cosmic puzzle. The arrow of time continues to be a fascinating topic in physics. It's a concept that's captivated minds, from the most curious layman to the greatest scientific intellects. We've delved into this enigma, exploring its mysteries, its possible explanations, and the role of consciousness in our perception of time. We've looked at the arrow of time as a riddle wrapped in the fabric of the universe, an enigma that makes us question our very understanding of reality. We've considered possible explanations, from the thermodynamic perspective to quantum mechanics, each theory offering a glimpse into the intricate workings of time. Yet, despite our best efforts, the arrow of time remains a tantalizing mystery. And that's what makes it so exciting, so compelling. The quest for knowledge, the thrill of discovery, the promise of understanding something that's eluded us for so long. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, perhaps one day we will truly understand why time only moves forward.